everybody. It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to my channel today. I've got a story about the Norwegian Spirit. A whole bunch of passengers are really upset at Norwegian. By the way, thank you everybody for subscribing to my channel, giving my videos thumbs ups, and hitting the bell notification icon. I really appreciate it. If you get a chance, uh, hit the link down below for Sale Pack. Check out the items you can get for Sale Pack. A lot of accessories for your next cruise. You can get a discount code down below. Also, you can check out Ambrin Travel. We are going on a group cruise December 6, 2020 on the Harmony of the Seas. You can join us uh, with a link down below. Just check it out right there. Now, over here on the Norwegian Spirit, there are problems. Uh, passengers are very upset. They're demanding a refund because they uh, found out that their 14-day luxury cruise has been all screwed up. They left Southampton September the 27th. They were supposed to go to Amsterdam. Never made it. Uh, way too windy to get to Amsterdam. The uh, ship turned north and avoided the uh, heavy seas, heavy winds. Because Hurricane Lorenzo and other wind weather systems were creating havoc in the English Channel and in the open waters in the Atlantic. And so the ship went to uh, Bergen here in Norway and uh, it, uh, it uh, sought shelter, shelter here. But unfortunately, it was rainy weather. They made it to Flam as well uh, in Norway. But again, very windy uh, and rainy. Uh, not a very pleasant stay, but uh, what are you going to do? The ship was supposed to go to Iceland. Uh, and land here in Reykjavik, but uh, they never made it. The uh, the cruise line and the captain decided not to chance it because uh, coming back from Iceland, they were going to run into heavy winds, and uh, they did anyway. They ended up going to uh, Grinok. Uh, I like to call it Grinok, but I think it's Grinok. Heavy winds there, heavy seas. Uh, they couldn't even uh, bring the ship into port. That's where the almost mutiny took place. Place. The passengers had had enough, although I got to say, folks, um, if they were able to dock the ship, this was the kind of weather you would have on shore. Hardly a pleasant experience, but these passengers here, after 10 days of sailing and not seeing the ports they wanted, not getting the tours they had booked, were really fed up. They wanted a full refund from Norwegian. Uh, Norwegian apparently is offering a 25% credit against a future cruise. It's really not Norwegian's fault that there's a hurricane in the mid-Atlantic coming up to the UK, but the passengers don't care. They're upset with uh, with the lack of communication. Uh, they wanted uh, more info on what was going on. I suspect, though, that the captain and uh, his crew were probably working on the fly, dealing with these kinds of winds and gusts and heavy seas. They were doing the best they can with what they had. Thankfully, the passengers are safe. They'll continue their uh, cruise to Belfast and Dublin, the Cork, and make their way back to Southampton in the next four or five days, and hopefully everything will be all right. But this is the kind of weather we have this time of year, and sometimes it can get a bit severe and a bit uncomfortable. But uh, nightmare cruise for some of these folks. They're not happy. Join me uh, Monday nights at 8 o'clock for Cruise Ship News, and stay tuned to this channel for more updates. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce. Thank you, everybody.